What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Two Drinks in Hip Hop. I am A Dare alongside your favorite Puerto Rican. Pompano Jones. We are sipping on some Tokodak Sunrises right now. Our version of a tequila sunrise. And if you want to learn how to make this drink, click on the link in the description. And we will show you how um, to the best of our ability. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we try. But as always, please subscribe to the channel and click on that bell button for notifications when we drop new videos every week and follow us on all of our social media. That's Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, and Twitter at Barhop Records and go to barhoprecords.com for services and merchandise and our personal social media is down below. Let's get into the show. (laughs) (laughs) Freestyle. (laughs) So... The Grammy nomination list has been revealed. Okay. And, uh, well, first of all, for the first time, I think since like 1999, I believe it is, the No White Men nominated for Best Album or Album of the Year. No White Men. (laughs) Yeah, Macklemore, you fucked it up for everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Like, all right, we need to make up for, for, for the Macklemore fiasco. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no way, man. But we're going to get to that at the end. We're going to go from the bottom up, kind of work our way up in, in importance, because what we're going to do right now is give you our predictions for all, at least all the, the hip-hop relevant uh, categories. Um, and yeah, we're going to start with producer of the year. Producer of the year, all right. Producer of the year, we have Calvin Harris, Greg K- Kirsten, Blake Mills, No ID, and The Stereotypes. Now I only know two of these guys. So I, uh, yeah, uh, I'm familiar with the two of them. Yes. Yeah, I've heard the names, but I don't, I don't know a lot of their work. Yeah, so I don't uh, want to be too. I feel like I'm going to be biased. Just well, if I was, yeah, if I were biased, I would obviously want to pick no ID. I want no ID to win that category. However, yeah. I was going to say either him or Calvin. I don't like Calvin Harris's work that much, to be honest, because obviously he's you know more on the EDM side. He does work a lot with hip hop artists, but yeah, he makes EDM music. Yeah, no, he does. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's gonna win. That's my prediction. Calvin Harris is gonna take that one home. Mm-hmm. But if I was rooting for somebody, I'd go for a No ID. That's who I'd probably go for. Go No ID. <laughs> um. Moving up, best music video. We have Kendrick Lamar for Humble. J O, get me a little turned. It get me turned. Oh my B. Um, Jay Z, the story of OJ. Beck, up all night. Jane, with Macaba. Don't know that song. And Logic in there with uh, Khalid and Ali- Alicia Cara for his one eight hundred. Um, best music video. What are you feeling? I thought they said no white guys allowed. What are you talking about? Logic. What do you mean no white guys I don't know. Allowed? I thought this Grammy, it's not, so it's not the whole Grammy's not filled with of white people? Of course not. Oh, Bro, bad. what the fuck? Sorry. No, it's I was, I was just like, in the just, album of the year just category. Just album of the year, no white guys. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Uh, no white guys made music this year? Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I figured they made music. They just weren't allowed to come to the Grammys this year. <laughs> you guys got to go to the back Granted, of the Grammys. Logic is half black. Uh huh. He's biracial. If you haven't biracial. realized him, but uh, but yeah, he's in there. I would honestly would like to see him take that one. Best music video one hundred. I, mean, I think that mean. it was a dope music video. And, I uh, I, got, I like a good message. I, I like the story of OJ and Humble. Humble was probably gonna win it. I would yeah. I would guess Humble, but I'm rooting for Logic. Yeah, I'm not. Bet <laughs> Logic hater. I am a Logic hater. All right, but let me clarify since you said that. No, I Logic's don't. a great rapper. I don't like I, Logic. His music is lame to me. He's a great rapper, though. That's not taking his credit away. Logic can be corny. Very corny sometimes, I will tell mm-hmm. you that. He's got the skills to be a rapper, though. 100%. Best R&B song, Khalid, Location. Khalid's Jaylene Brown, right? That's the guy who looks like Jaylene Brown from the Celtics? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Childers Gambino, Redbone, SZA with Supermodel, Bruno Mars, That's What I Like, R- oh, well, RJ, PJ Morton first first began. Um, I'm going with 
I either think. Childish Gambino, Redbone, or yeah. um, what was the other one I'm looking for? Uh, Kala, Jaylene Brown, Location. Jaylene Brown. Khalid. <laughs> I think Bruno Mars is gonna take that home. With you think he's gonna with, take it home? Uh, what? That's what I like. Yeah. Childish Gambino. That Redbone song really changed my mind about fucking Childish Gambino because I no. n- never liked it. Childish Gambino, and I, maybe I still don't. But that song, I had no idea it was him. I, I still just, don't believe it. Yeah, it was uh, a big shock. Yeah. I actually heard that song for the first time on a. Um, an alternative station, and they said like, "Oh, just Childish Gambino <laughs> yeah. next," and I thought I was like. I thought the song was called Childish Gambino. Yeah, I remember because <laughs> I was like, that. "There's no way that that's him." Yeah, There's no. no way. Shout out to Childish Gambino. Uh, yeah, he Great fucking song. He really did. Uh, and then let's go with. Uh, that was not too relevant. I'm gonna skip that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna skip that one too. Best rap song. Cardi B, Bodak Yellow, Kendrick Lamar, Humble, Jay Z, The Story of OJ, Danger Mouse. I don't know. Who Featuring that guy. Run the Jewels and Big Boy, Chase Me. Haven't heard that song. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and Rhapsody with Sassy. I know you're gonna. I know what you're gonna pick. Fucking Bodak Yellow. F- what fans makes you over think here. I'm gonna pick that? <laughs> fucking best rap song, bro. You dead ass thought I was gonna pick that? No, I'm oh. just giving you a fucking hard time. Okay. All right. Uh, best rap song. Probably gonna go with story of OJ, Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. It's hard because I want to go with humble, but I that Jay Z album was fucking great. When you're speaking, when you're speaking like specifically a rap song, and because they they separate that on purpose. Like, no, you yeah, know I mean? like uh, it's rap. Yeah. You know, what I'm talking about rap is different than hip hop. Hip hop is different than rap. Uh, not gonna get in that discussion right now. No, we're not because it would go on forever. Yeah, but yeah, I, I would say story of OJ for sure. Taking it home, mm-hmm. moving on. <laughs> Best rap sung performance: Jay Z featuring Beyonce, Family Feud, Kendrick Lamar featuring Rihanna, Loyalty, SZA featuring Travis Scott, Love Glore, Black with Problems. Hell yeah, Black! I'm I'm so happy to see that he was nominated for a Grammy. And Gold Link featuring Brent Files and Shy Glizzy uh, uh, Crew. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go with Black. I'm gonna go with Black. Um, Wait, I gotta say who we're I think's gonna we're win. We're predicting the winners. The yes. winner, Our Black yes favorite, but he yeah. he doesn't have a chance in hell. I'm sorry to say. I uh, know. I mean, I mean to be real, I think the only one he has a problem with is SZA, and maybe oh Jay Z and Beyonce. Come on. Yeah, but I don't think that one's gonna win. That I think it's gonna be SZA. Now we hey we go, There's no white people in the one category, but that doesn't mean the Grammys is gonna start making good decisions all of a sudden. You're right. <laughs> you're right you're right you know right. what i'm saying fuck it i'm gonna call uh, just just so if he wins it i can say i called it i'm going black all right problems all right he's taking it all right very nice uh best rap performance big sean bounce back cardi b bodak yellow jay-z 444 kendrick lamar humble and migos with bad and bougie now again this is performance so this is perf- you know performing their song live but uh i might have to go with the bodak yellow one now yeah, yeah. I don't know. I never. I haven't seen I anyone else. I feel like Cardi B is gonna win one. Yeah, I haven't I, seen just it. because she's like the hottest thing. The only right thing person I could see for like their performance would be maybe fucking, maybe Kendrick. You, you know, I can't leave that guy out. But who'd I pick? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Cardi. That's best rap performance, right? Best hip hop performance. Best rap performance. Best rap performance. Yeah, I'm going Cardi. Cardi. I'm gonna give Kendrick Lamar that one for humble. Okay. All right, now this one I'm excited to to see what happens Is because there's some str- <laughs> go <laughs> one of many many different ways. Are, are, are there are there biracial people uh, in here? Best no, there's <laughs> not. Well, <laughs> probably is as far as I, but I don't know for a fact. Best new artist, we have the likes of Lil Uzi Vert. Okay. We have the likes of Khalid. Okay. SZA. Okay. This is not new though. That's why I don't understand. She's she's somewhat new, newly but she's relevant. All right, yeah. Uh, Julia Michaels and Alicia Cara. Julia Michaels, I hope she wins, to be honest. Who's Julia Michaels? I feel like I know she her. She sings issues. Ah. She sings issues. Yes. What was this for? Best new artist. Best new artist. I don't, I mean. I don't yeah. think she's going to win that, but I would like to see her. You don't think so? I actually think she's going to. I, I fucking hope so. I, I mean, 
I feel like Lou Uzi already got a brand new artist shit before. Uh, that's probably some B T. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever uh, other hip hop. Khalid, I'm not. Be, I don't know. I don't listen to Khalid. I know Khalid makes very good positive music, so that's probably why I haven't heard a lot of his songs. Because I don't. <laughs> I, not that I don't it's like not positive. that he's bad. I just don't. I just don't listen to it. But um, I didn't know that he was a guy who sang Location though, because it's one of my favorite songs of the year. Yeah. So. Julia Michaels, yes, I'll, I'll go, I'll go with her. All right, I'll go with her. Jumping on the bandwagon, it's fine. Yes. It's fine. Yes, even though she's white, and we don't want white people at these Grammys this year, I'm gonna give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Song of the year, Jay Z, 444, uh, Louis Louis Fonzi featuring Justin Bieber, oh, yes. Despacito. <laughs> I but probably might, might as well just stop fucking talking because that one's gonna win. Yeah. Uh, Julia Michaels, issues, Logic. Uh, with 1-800 and Bruno Mars. That's what I like. Again, I'd like to see Issues win that because I think that song is, I really do, it's my favorite song of this year, Me hands too. down, even though it has nothing to do with hip-hop. Which one are we looking at? Again? But uh, we're looking at Song of the Year. But I'm going to definitely uh, have to say Despacito is going to get that. Yeah. Uh, it's um, that, that or That's What I Like. Yeah, that one is super popular. Yeah. But that's what Seagulls nah. mostly, yeah. yeah, that, definitely. yeah it's, def- <laughs> it's, it's definitely nah. got to win. Uh, um, record of the year, we got Childish Gambino with Redbone, Jay-Z, the story of OJ, Kendrick Lamar, Humble, again, Despacito, and Bruno Mars, 24K Magic this time. Um, that 24 Carat Magic was good. What was the first one you said? Because that's when I went, Redbone. I think that's going to get that record of the year. That record is way that, too... I feel like that has the classic yeah. feel to it, yeah. where it would get that award because yeah. that's more toward kind of what they go for with record of the year. That's it's the one that like I that really feel it. like if this one doesn't go to that person, that's where it's gonna be like, all right, now you guys are fucking up again. I feel you. That feel song you. is just way too, way, way too smooth. Yeah, it really is, and I think I do think that that song deserves an award. Yeah, uh, or that you know, Childish Gambino deserves an award for that, and I yeah. feel like that's the one he has the best chance. No, most definitely, so. Childish Gambino, man, you. That was a great record, really was. bro. He stepped record. out of his comfort zone. Yeah, that's for fucking sure. Yeah. All right, we'd rather wrap this up. All right, uh, R&B. I don't know if I can get into that guy. I don't know those guys too much. Um. Let's go best urban contemporary album, cause that's that's hip hop right mm-hmm. there. Uh, Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love, SZA, Control, Khalid, American Teen, The Weeknd, Starboy, All Day, and Black Free Black. Uh, it's out now. Now it's yeah. I'm going Starboy. Black's runner up should yeah. be Starboy for sure. Absolutely should win that album. He should win it, and I'm, I feel like he should have been nominated for some other things, but that's neither. Here or there. Yeah. Best rap album, Jay-Z, 444, Kendrick Lamar, Damn, Migos, Culture, Tyler the Creator, Flower Boy, Rhapsody, Layla's Wisdom. Tyler the Creator got some shit, because I know there's, <laughs> Tyler the Creator's fans just make a lot of noise. I see them all over the place on my Twitter. They're literally everywhere. They do. Uh, Jay-Z should they win. They should be happy about that. Jay-Z absolutely should win. Should win. 100%. Sorry, Charlie, just give me, you know, I know I've hyped up that Redbone song, but I'm still not a big fan of the rest of your music. Well, he was not nominated in that. No, I thought you said Childish Camino. Nah, Tyler the Creator, Kendrick Lamar, Migos, Rhapsody. Best rap album. Yes. Fuck. I thought I was looking at the other section above it. Best album. Best rap album. Yes. Album of the year. Now that's all music. Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love, Jay Z, 444, Kendrick Lamar, Damn, Lord with Melodrama and Bruno Mars, 24K Magic. Well, then I want to take back. Uh, Jay Z's best rap album and put Kendrick on that one, and then I'm probably gonna say Jay Z for album of the year. I, I think the weekend. Well, how should the be hell is how's Jay Z gonna get album of the year and not get best rap album? If it's the best album, obviously he's gonna get the same thing. The best rap album. So why is he there. nominated for both then? Because it's two different categories. So wait, this is all genres and this is rap. Yeah, yeah that's why I said I retract my statement that he gets best rap album. So, but how is he gonna have the best album? Uh-huh. Of the year, the best album out of any genre, but it not be the best rap album. Trying to make me look stupid on YouTube right now. I'm not. I'm trying to explain <laughs> this to you. I'm not. I don't understand what the fuck I'm doing wrong. If he's got the best album, yeah. Overall, yeah. Of course, he's got the best rap album too. No, because it was the best album overall. Yeah. And none of these people even. Does that not make sense? No. 
I mean, maybe that's not how they, they take it into consideration, but I feel like if he wins album of the year, he has to win best rap album. No. Because it's better, obviously, than all the other ones that weren't nominated for album of the year. I don't know. I think I like Yeah, I'm, like I'm a little, you, know, you guys kind of fucked me. No, I don't, I, I'm fucked up right now. Be- uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you'll get it later on. Yeah. You'll, yeah. You'll I think it. you're going to get it later. No, I'm definitely not <laughs> get it. I get it now. But I would, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, uh, That one's really hard to say, honestly. Which one? Album of the year. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah, because the weekend's not in there. He, that's hard. That's fucking should have been him. He wasn't nominated. There was another award show recently, and he wasn't nominated for fucking album of the year either. I feel like Jay Z will take them both. Take them both. Yeah. Yes, it could possibly happen. Oh, right, my bad. I didn't even notice that Kendrick Lamar was damn was in album of the year. I thought it was just rap album of the year. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is rap right here. We're looking at rap. Yeah. Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. This is album. Yeah. Every every genre. Mm-hmm. Notice Lord is in there. <laughs> yeah, Lord, I'm saying. yeah, yeah, Lord. Uh, that was a good album. It was a good Lord album. Lord Albums was a good it was, album. It was. Very strange. Um a weird lady. Like girl. alien music almost. But it was very different in a good way, I feel like. Yeah. I liked it. I I thought it was good. But not, but not, not, not enough to put it. I don't know. Crazy. Kendrick might get album of the year just for the fact that fucking this nigga was all over NBA for the playoffs. You're right. He had a lot yeah. of push for yeah. that album. A every lot com- of push. every commercial, any timeout, all you heard was Kendrick Lamar. So that's that, that could easily that could easily be the one. But we will revisit our predictions for these when the Grammys airs in January. We got oh, a little ways. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I thought they were like next week. No, no, yeah, everyone's just talking about it because the, the, the nomination just came out. Oh. But yeah, we'll see in January. Yeah, we'll see in January. We'll see in January how correct we are. Um, God, this is gross. Jo- see, I like mine this time. I made this much better because it's not as fucking strong as mine was on Monday. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, if anybody hasn't seen, uh. The new Joyner Lucas, I'm not racist mm-hmm. video. Uh, you should go watch it because you're very unique. It's probably the only video you'll you have seen like that. That is true statement. Um, but it's interesting. Basically, to give you a little rundown, if you haven't seen it, he raps a, a verse as a white guy, a mm-hmm. white uh, "Make America Great Again" hat wearing guy. Uh, I'm not just saying that. He actually is wearing a hat in the video. Checking my hat. So, um. Yeah, and he does a verse as a, a white dude, and then he does a verse as himself, basically having a conversation or back and forth, telling each other uh, their stories. Wait, the dude, the, the black dude that that white guy was having comment that was Joyner Lucas. Yeah, it's all Joyner Lucas rapping. Yeah, rapping, but yeah. the actual pe- person that they use. No, it's a white guy. Yeah, it's this white guy right here. No, right? I know, but I'm saying the the black guy that he was talking to. Yeah, that's him. That was Joyner? Yeah. Bro, uh, bro, I could have sw- I had a totally different picture of uh Joyner Lucas this whole entire time and I'm pretty sure I've watched his video uh, new I've watched numerous videos because our homeboy is infatuated with him. I don't understand why I had a totally different look for this guy. Is that is it not him? I have no idea. I don't, I don't I've literally like did not I've never even seen Jonah Lucas before in my life. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. I watch videos and uh, I'm looking it up right Yeah, now. we gotta look it up, bro, because I'm pretty sure it's him though. Yeah. I feel like I could be wrong. I feel like Cut had a brush cut, man. Well, maybe he did. I don't know. I could I don't I feel like that was not him. But then I could be wrong. Oh, I think you're actually right. I knew it. Yeah, you right. I knew it. I yeah. knew it. Now I remember what he looks like. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm like, bro, that dude, that black, I'm like, that black guy's not Joiner. So it's both, of, yeah, well, never mind. Not him in the video. But either way, yeah. he does a versus a white guy versus a black dude, and, yeah. and they have a conversation. It's very, like, I don't know. It's kind of a, a weird yeah. to watch because I mean, you see this white guy rapping, and he's not actually saying these words, but. Like yeah, you know, yeah, saying he, a lot of racist shit. Yeah, he's, he's, and vice versa. Yeah, he's saying exactly how he feels about black people, and then the uh, the, the black yeah. guy says it's exactly how he feels about them. It's a little uncomfortable. It, it, it <laughs> was uncomfortable. Lie. I was mad high. It was like two in the morning, and I, I was kind of passed out. And all of a sudden, I just heard this racist shit getting played. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I woke up and seen it. Uh, 
spoiler, they become friends at the end. They do. So it's very, it is very interesting. It, it took me twice. I had to watch it again to kind of understand because I didn't understand if he was just like saying both sides of the stereotypical race are being idiots with the shit that they do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or if he was trying, you know, what I mean? or if he was just trying to, I, I, it was hard. I, I think I understand it now. I think he's just trying to say that. Be, just try to understand or listen. Yeah, well, he's trying I mean? to get people to talk about shit that we don't ever talk about. And, you know... If you hate white people, say why you hate them. And if you hate black people, I guess, yeah. explain why. And then you guys can go back and forth on that. Well, yeah, he's basically... It was combating yeah. the stereotypes that we all have of, you know, the other side. And, yeah. you know, because, like, oh, well, you... uh, uh Whatever, you... Sp- are a Trump supporter because that he talks about in the song. I'm not trying to bring that shit up, but um, like, oh, all Trump supporters are bad. We all know that that's bullshit. I mean, it, well, some people don't know that that's bullshit, but it, it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, and and again, vice versa. So it's a very interesting video. Yeah, it's basically. I feel like his main message is there's actually like a person or people behind these ideas we have. Mm-hmm. of each other and it's not just like everyone is the same and that's the problem i feel like it, it, and you could get a wrong message from this video yes. if you don't watch it all the way through yes and i know that's a very 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 big problem with this generation is attention span yes no one you know people yeah. see headlines of articles they know the full story yeah people watch the first 30 seconds of a video they know what the whole video is about like yeah please start being more thorough no with yeah what you're looking at and what you're like reading and taking in because a lot of it you're probably thinking the complete wrong thing no yeah of what it's supposed to be so yeah no because like everything he's as as he's speaking for the white racist dude this is this is don't take my words out of context everything he said when he was speaking as the white racist dude and as the racist black dude all their stereotypical things were true though because that's what I was confused about when I first seen it. I'm, I'm like, for I'm, some people, yeah, for so, the of st- course. like the stereotypical things that he was saying. You know what I mean? It, uh, yeah, like for yeah, for most people, like I said, is um, like I'm not gonna get into it, but yeah, it was um, a lot of it was true. So it kind of opens your eyes, though. You know what I mean? So sort of say if you are the white dude who maybe thinks like that, it's like. Damn, bro, that really is. No, you're right. You know what I mean? A fucking you're not right. a good way to be thinking like that. Like, yeah, I might not like certain things, but look, look at look at how they got it, and the vice versa. Like, like when the white dude, the racist white dude, was saying some things to this black guy. Like I said, don't take my words out of context. <laughs> but, no, yeah. Um, like some of those things, it's like the black per- that black guy in the video could be like, well, I mean, he, you know, he, I, I could understand where he's coming from. You know what I mean? Like that. No, you're right. And that's, that's where you have to have a responsibility as the other person that's on the other side. Yeah. And have a fucking open mind. Open please. mind, people. Christ. Yeah. Don't fucking yeah. be closed off. Don't do it. Don't be closed off. Don't do it. It's not a good place. It's not. It's a lonely place. It's a very, it's dark in there. It's a dark, it's <laughs> dark and it's dirty and it smells. Hello, darkness. No, nah, but it's a really great video and I really, really, if you uh, have some time, go look at it. Go yes. check it out and watch it. It's very long. It's about like f- five, six minutes. A lot of people are screaming like video of the year over it. Obviously, it's a big, the main issue that's going on right now in the country. So I feel like that has a lot, of, gives it a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it yeah. is. It's a guy, it's a great message. Yeah. So Give it a look. Yeah, please do. Before we wrap up and get into the music that's coming out in a couple days, uh, it is official. We talked about it on Monday, but Eminem's album is coming out on December Uh 15th. Dr. Dre tweeted out the the promo video for it, which is like a prescription medicine commercial. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. It is weird, but that's him. That's Eminem. He does things uh, a little weird sometimes. All the time, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny. It's, it's kind of funny, and uh, yeah, excited. Fifteenth, yeah. December fifteenth, revival. Yeah, revival. But um, hopefully he. But yeah, so that's it. been confirmed. Um, yeah, that's about it. We gonna get out of here right now. We were gonna mention about the whole white people not being back at the Grammys again, weren't we? Huh? Oh well, we didn't really talk about that. Yeah, fully. 
Because there's still a lot of people fucking talking shit about the Grammys. Well, yeah, I don't get, uh, you know, this. I don't know. I don't understand why. Um, obviously, everybody's got their own thing. They they want to see. And if the their very specific thing doesn't happen, yeah. you know what I mean, they're going to flip a shit. Yeah. Whatever. There's, you know, there's no. I don't care. I don't care who's, no, you know, nominated. I don't really, I don't put weight in the the award shows no. like like that but you know that's the way we are as humans yeah <laughs> but um but yeah there are still people complaining yeah it's like bro they literally took fucking white people out of that whole category well i guarantee you there's gonna be white people complaining now which is the fucking stupidest thing ever like we ain't have we like we don't we even had it we haven't There's had no it for long a, enough. Yeah, there ain't no fucking we, white rappers anyways. We're not good yet, but it's not rap. That's the that's the it's Grammys. It's all genres. That's right. So that's like, right. It's um, it's like I don't know. Just stop. I don't. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, who just, fucking cares? Yeah. The Doesn't awards matter. aren't real. It's literally other humans voting on other humans uh, about who should win something. <laughs> It's p- opinion. It's a hundred percent opinionated. That's what it is. So how do you? What do you expect to f- to s- happen? Yeah, no, it's like I said. It's just. It's just. For, obviously, I get it. Cause like I said, Macklemore should have never, ever, ever touched that award a day in his life. I understand. No, he it's just so crazy and hilarious on how like the world is now. All right, we fucked up. No more white people in this category. We don't need them. If you look at it, uh, if like I said, it's behind the high, all the all the sight. It's just a very funny and weird thing. But that's where we are. But yeah, I, I'm I'm glad I'm glad. But we, I'm not like I'm not reverse race reverse racist at all. I don't hate white people, but white people we've gotten away with a lot of shit for a long time. So let's let's <laughs> suck it up and <laughs> shut the fuck up and stop embarrassing everyone every one of our kind. But anyway, <laughs> December first releases. We gotta get out of here. But the new music we got three albums and two of them. Are more on the R and B side. Miguel with Warren Leisure, Roy Woods with Say Less. He's actually pretty good. Have you? No, no, bro. I haven't seen or heard about Miguel since he drop kicked that bitch at the award show, I know. bro. <laughs> I know. I feel like he's been been being quiet on purpose. Yeah. Um, but Chief Keef, the lone uh, rap album coming out on Friday right. uh, with the t- the dedication. I'm looking for that. The dedication. Yeah, it's called the dedication. Oh, I thought. No, not that de- not yeah. dedication thirty nine or whatever yeah. Lil Wayne's on right now. Yes. He's got a few interesting he not a lot of features, which I was surprised. Chief Keith Keith is normally one to call on a lot of people to mm-hmm. give him help, but he's only got like three on there, I think, and A Boogie's one of them and uh Well really I think it's the people calling Chief Keith for no, yeah, you might yeah, be right. Chief you might Keith be right. Fall- this dude's only been in the rap I I feel like he's only been in there for like five years, but I think might have been a little bit longer, but God's only been in here for a little amount of time and don't fathered so many fucking of these rappers. And a lot of people don't pay respects to this man. Chief Keef carved out yeah. his lane. Yeah. Like and then made it for real other quick too, I feel mm-hmm. like. Like real quick, real fast, and it's it stayed stuck. strong. It's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> um But yeah. Salute the Chief. Chief Keef. Salute to that Chief. So look out for those albums if you're a fan of any of them. I know you're excited. If you're not, give them a shot. You never know. You might like them. Don't be Even if you've heard their minded. music before and you don't like it, give them a shot again. Don't be close-minded. That's what we do. We got to be open. A lot of times it fails, and I still don't like it, but it doesn't matter. Hey. It doesn't matter. I'm still giving Uzi <laughs> and, and Famous Dex chances. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? All the time. If you make a new song, I'm going to listen to it. Absolutely. But we got to get out of here. You've had enough of us. So, uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel. And click on that bell button for notifications when we drop new videos every week. And follow us on all of our social media. Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, and Twitter at Bar Hop Records. And go to BarHopRecords.com for new... Wait, what? For merchandise and services. Um, and our personal social medias are down below as well. Reach out to us. We'll reach back. If you want to learn how to make it to Kodak Sunrise, click on the link in the description or the link up on the screen. Drink some with us on Friday. We'll see you then.